Hello everyone. Today my topic is V270 objective detection. I hope you will find it interesting with my presentation. First of all, I want to use the topic of image segmentation to introduce the video silent object detection. We have learned image segmentation in deep learning. The goal of se image segmentation is to classify each pixel in the image and to divide the input image into a series of regions according to the characteristics of the image itself. Its application fields include some about uh, automatic, automatic driving, image beautification, 3D ray con constructions, and so on. There are several types of image segmentation. You can see the picture from the PowerPoint. According to the purpose of segmentation, the first type is ordinary segmentation, which separates the pix regions of different objects such as the foreground and the background segmentation, people area, car area, and the background segmentation. The second one is segment, uh, semantic segmentation, which classifies the semantics of each region, uh, which is uh, what object uh, the, this region belongs to. For example, all the objects in the picture indicate their respective categories. So for the next one, the model structure is from convolution part to deconvolution part. You can see from this one, from convolution one to deconvolution one. Although it is called uh, deconvolution, it is not the inverse operation of convolution. It is more suitable to be called uh, transport convolution. Its function is to rule out large feature images from small feature images and return to the original image size. For now, maybe you have some questions. Why we use convolution? And what, what is the convolution? Let's see one image. The image contains a lot of pixels. The pixel value of these pixels are not the same. We need to extract the important information in the image remove the unimportant information in the image, how to realize this operation, or how to extract the eigenvalues of the picture. Here we introduce the concept of convolution kernel. You can see in the middle one. This middle one is the kernel. The convolution kernel has a weight matrix which extracts the information we want by giving different weights to different pixels. And uh, this one is original frame, and this one is convolution kernel, and this one is feature map. What we want is the feature map. So let's return to our topic, silent object detection. Image segmentation is to divide the input image into a series of regions according to the characteristics of the image itself. But silent detection divides the input image into only two categories. One is the silent object, and the other is background. The so-called image segmentation is to divide the input image into a series of regions according to the characteristics of the image itself. This is the relationship between image segmentation and the silent object detection. You can see the three images shown in the PowerPoint. The first one is original one. The second one is the segmentation. The final one is the silent object detection image. So what is the silency? The, the silence is the most interesting part in each image or video frame that most attract human attention. Silent object detection is mainly to attract conspiracious conspira objects from an image. You can see from the following image, like horses, flowers, leaves, and so on. And you can also see it is, is silent object detection image. This message you can see is very helpful to understand the mechanism of biological visual attention. And uh, as we all know, the video is actually the images. Video is a continuous, continuous image set which contains multiple images and the motion information of the image. 
due to the limited frequency of the human eye recognition. When the number of the images seen per unit time exists, uh, exists a certain number, the feeling to the human eyes is that the picture is moving, which is called video. This frequency is general, generally 25 pictures per second. So for video silent detection aimed at finding the most interesting parts in each video frame that most attract human attention, it can be applied as a fundamental module in many visual tasks, such as video object segmentation and so on. Similar to image silent detection and uniformly highlight the most silent object with clear contour. So now let's look at a video about how to deal with video silent detection. Video consists of continuous images which have a certain time sequence. So we can input a, a series of images into the previous model to do the convolutional and the deconvolutional. You can see from this one, this one is our previous one. Now we introduce it into our video image, video, uh, video range. This is a video data set and the image data set. And you can see from the one frame, one frame, one frame from the video and to do the data continuation. And then this will have the special temporal silent. And uh, use the frame sequence one by one. Most existing video silent methods are built upon shadow, shallow handcraft feature. You can see the color, age, and so on. And they especially rely on the motion information from optical flow. These methods are typically heuristic and suffer from slow speed due to the time consuming and the low in prediction accuracy due to the limited representability of low level features. And currently based on a deep learning, a fully convolutional network has been proposed, which can achieve a speed of two FPS. But in this model method, the temporal dynamics between only two video frames are considered. So it clearly, it faces difficulties to achieve a real time speed and the lack of motion information from a longer time span. From the traditional neural network structure, we can see that uh, the signal flows from the input layer to the output layer in terms. And the signals between neurons at the same level will not pass each other. This will lead to a problem that the output signal is only related to the input signal and has nothing to do with, to do with the sequence of the uh, input signals. When the input signal is a time dependent uh, signal, uh, if we want to understand the meaning of the period time of time series, through the context information of the signal. The traditional one is very weak. For example, you can see in the field of natural language processing, we need to let a neural network understanding such a sentence. The, uh, the highest mountain on this earth is Mount Everest. So according to the traditional one, it may split this sentence into several sep uh, separate uh, words the first one the earth highest mountain on uh, mount everest and input them in the modern respectively regardless of the differences between these two uh, these words prefers preface however we can see the, that the order of these words is important 
to this meaning, the final of the final sentence, but the traditional one don't do this. Therefore, we need to build a neural network uh, model with memorable ability to process the signals that need to understand the context meaning, that is time series data. So the order is very important. That means the time series data. And uh, to employ deep learning techniques for um, video silence detection, two problems should be considered. The first is how to describe the temporal and the spatial information and uh, uh, how to combine them together. And the second one is the data. A seven, uh, uh, enough large, uh, enough large densely labeled video silent training data is desirable and but hard to obtain. So to address these issues, we will use the convolutional long short term memory structure. But what is the convolutional LSTM? Let's turn to the LSTM first. LSTM is that a long short term memory neural network can learn long dependence process a ordered sequence. And LSTM is based on recurrent neural network. It's called RNN which takes sequence data as input. In the graph, A represents the neural network model, XT represents the input signal of this model, and the HT represents the output signal of this model. It allows A to transmit information to A, that is output to input. Let's expand this graph according to time T. We can understand it very well from this graph. Neural network uh, A receives the input signal of T time and uh, T plus one time at the same time. And the output signal will be transferred to A at the next time. So it combines the, with the sequence. RNN use the internal, RNN use the internal loop of neural network to return the context information of time series, but the transmission of information will gradually decline because of the long time interval, and the effect of information will be greatly reduced after a period of time. Therefore, we proposed a new model, LSTM. In RNN model, there is only one single neural network layer. Uh, you can see from this one, it is TAH. TAH is the uh, activ uh, activation function, which leads to low information processing ability. But uh, in the LSTM, we use the uh, four network layer in LSTM, and they interact in a special way. We will introduce it in the later PowerPoint. The K of LSTM is cell state expressed as CT, which is used to save the current LSTM state information and transfer it to the next LSTM. A special gate will introduce, will use the, a special designed gate is used to update the information in the cell state CT. So we will have the gate is the way to let the information pass selectivity selectively, including three different gate structure: for forgot gate, memory gate, and output gate. The function of forgot gate is to forget information. In the process of using LSTM, some information is not necessary. So the function of forgot gate is to select this information and forgot it forgot them. The function of memory gate is, is opposite that the forgot gate, will, which will determine which information is which information of new input XT and uh, H and uh, HT minus one will be returned. After we input uh, signal XT at T time, how to calculate the corresponding output signal? So we will use the output gate. This uh, sigma and uh, TAH is all is just uh, this one uh, sigma 
activation function and the task activation fun function, neural one fun function. And uh, um, LSTM is very powerful in the processing of time series data, but if the time series data is an image, uh, convolutional operation based on LSTM will be more effective for image feature attraction. Convolutional LSTM is the variant of LSTM. The main change is that the weight uh, calculation is changed into the convolution operation, which can attract image features. So uh, now let's look at a new fast video silent target uh, object uh, detection model, which comes from this paper. This paper, uh, two new structures are proposed in this paper. One is PDC, pure, uh, pyramid dilated convolutional model. The other one is PDB com convolutional LSTM, pyramid dilated bidirectional convolutional LSTM. Let's, uh, you can see from this P picture, this is, this is the general P picture of this model. This is the input frame, this is a PDC model, this is a PDB uh, model, and uh, we will introduce them detailed in the later PowerPoint. Let's turn to the PDC first. The first question, what is dilated? Uh, mm, this is achieved by a, a special uh, designed whole kernel. Uh, this term we used in the formal PowerPoint the kernel one is this one. This is a convolutional cover kernel. Uh, the term is the same. We return to this one. Yes, kernel. And uh, we have talked about the convolutional kernel before. This kernel is compact without hope. Uh, it's computational uh, complexity. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, this kernel is uh, compact with without a hole, but uh, this new kernel is has a special design hole, and uh, but uh, its computational complexity is the same as the that original convolutional convolution, and the advantage is that its field of vision is larger. For example, uh, the field of vision of the result of uh, original three times three convolutional, and the field of vision after insert uh, uh, inserting a hole is five times five. The function of larger field of view is to grasp more global information of the image when the feature image is reduced to the same multiple. So you can say this is uh, kernel. Uh, this is no hole. This is one hole. This is two hole. So we can see the more larger vision. And uh, in addition to use the dilated kernel in PDC, in order to make feature uh, attraction more fully, multi-scale information is also used. The input feature is 3D. Uh, yes, the input feature is 3D. And uh, a set of K dilated uh, convolutional convolution layers with kernels kernels with different uh, deletion factors are adopted for generating a set of output feature maps. This is similar to uh, observing the image from different uh, distances. A region will be re uh, reasonably uh, silent if only we see it from a proper distance and see its proper spatial context. And uh, after convolution, multi-scale spatial features are concatenated together. But inspired with the residue connection, we further combine, com combine the original input feature F into X to address the degradation problem. So you can see from uh, this is the input feature, this is our, our uh, convolution, and uh, this is the uh, concatenative uh, with the input and uh, this convolution map feature map map. map. So you can get, get the new one. And, and this is the function. And uh, mm, given uh, input uh, video sec uh, sequence, we come to, uh, uh, we adopt a PDC model to produce a corresponding 
a sequence of multi-scale special silent features. Uh, then these special features are fed into a PDB, convolutional LSTM structure, for interpreting the temporal characteristics of video frames and the fusing uh, special and the temporal features. Pre-sure, uh, this one, the left one is a pre, uh, shadow, shallow, purely bi-directional feature uh, extraction strategy. Uh, but uh, in the new one, we uh, replace it, uh, use a uh, deeper and uh, with a deeper and uh, cascaded uh, learning process. You can see from building back backward uh, LSTM unit upon special temporal features learned in the forward process. You can see from the left one, this is the forward layer, this is the backward layer. The, forward, uh, the backward layer, the forward layer and the backward layer, this is just a two parallel, two parallel layer. But in the second one, the backward layer has to do with, has some to do with the forward layer. So this is the process. And uh, uh, just, uh, just uh, as we have talked about uh, the LSTM, we can see the formulas. Uh, CT is a memory cell. It is an input gate. OT is an output gate. And FT is a forget gate. H, capital H, is a hidden state. Capital W is a learnable weight. Com uh, convolutional LSTM similarly remembers the past sequence since it accumulates the past information in the memory cells. However, in video sequence, information from both forward and backward are important and complementary for pre uh, predicting video silent. Thus, bi-directional convolutional should be used for capturing uh, temporal characteristics in bi-directional. Uh, so we can use the, the, this one to change uh, this formula. So uh, HF indicate uh, HF and HB indicate the hidden state from forward and backward uh, convolutional unit, and the YT indicates the final output uh, considering the bidirectional. So you, you can combine with this formula and this formula get the new one. And uh, uh, the DB, the DB convolutional LSTM has two layers. One is uh, a shallow forward layer and a deeper backward layer. The convolutional LSTM units in the forward layer receive special feature maps as inputs and output forward, uh, output forward uh, sequential feature maps. The deep layer is constituted of the backward units that receive the output features from the forward layer as inputs. So uh, this is the final model. This is the input frame, PDC, PDB, and uh, the final. Uh, it has a deeper uh, cascaded learning process. The other one is learning silent feature in multi scales. We compared our model with uh, 18 famous silent method, including <clears throat> 18 silent, say, uh, 18 silent method. And for quantitative uh, evaluation, we employ PR curve. This finger shows the PR uh, curves on the test sets of DAVIS and the FBMS data sets, and as well as the, uh, the whole visual uh, data set. It can be observed that uh, our uh, model outperforms other computers. So the proposed model generates high quality silent uh, maps with a uh, real time processing speed of 20 FPS from this, this paper. And uh, that's all. Thank you. Thank you for listening.